Hey there viewers, it's Charlie, I'm back again, and welcome to my first video of 2021. And I've decided, what better way to start the year off, than to show my entire Transformers collection as of December 2020. So yeah. Now, you'll pretty much recognize most of these figures because... I pretty much reviewed almost all of my entire collection. There are a few exceptions, but pretty much most of my figures I have reviewed, so guaranteed that you'll recognize most of these. But let's start over here. Alright, so this is my entire collection of Generation 1. Generation 2 and GoBots figures and we're going to start from the bottom So Here are my well, what I like to call my gimmick transformers Because pretty much most of these figures were released around the gimmick era or have some kind of special gimmick you know like the Power Masters, the Pretenders, the Trickicons, Duocons, Battle Chargers, etc. They're all down here. So from left to right, here we have Slapdash and his partner Lube. The Pretender Landmine, without a sword sadly. The Autobot Double Target Masters Scoop, Quick Mix and Landfill. Along with Hole Punch, Boomer, Ricochet, and from what I can remember, Silencer. Sadly, I don't have Flintlock and I don't have Tracer. But, oh well. And here I have the Duocon Flywheels. Sadly, as of right now, I don't have Battle Trap. And the Generation 2 Power Master Ironhide. Of course, he has nothing to do with the other Power Masters that I've got. Next up, being covered by a bunch of water, because come on, stay hydrated. I have the Jump Starters, Top Spin and Twin Twist. The Battle Chargers, Runabout and Runamark. The Frogbots, Goldbug and Rollbar. And the Triggercon, Ruckus. Now that does it for, for this shelf. Well, on the side, along with my food stash, because come on, you, you need to eat as well. I've got two DVDs, a uh, Transformers Cybertron one, and a Transformers Prime one. Pretty much the Cybertron DVDs got like the first two to five episodes. Well, episode two to episode five, or four from what I can remember. And the Prime DVDs got the entire Darkness Rising series. And right here, amongst the bowl that I like to to use sometimes for eating. I've got some Transformers comics, or Dreamwave, and the Unicron Trilogy pack and comics, the Armada cards, and well, the Transformers cards that I've shown in other reviews, season three in, se in the movie DVDs, season one to two DVDs for G1, and right here, I have a box for a Transformer I've not reviewed yet. This is my latest Transformers figure as of the time of this recording. Yeah, I'll show the actual figure later on. But moving up, here we have a toothbrush. Yeah, sorry, my mum put that there, not me. Here we have my GoBots figures and um, some Rock Lords. So here I have the Super GoBots figures, Psykill, Stax, and Spacey. Along with Fighter. Buggy Man, the yellow version of Slicks, Rescue, Jeeper Creeper, Spoons, the Machine Robo version of Water Walk, Flip Top, the blue version of Leader One, the Machine Robo version of Heat Seeker, Stinger, Boulder, and Granite. So, yeah, these are pretty much all my GoBots figures, aside from Courageous, who we'll see later on. Moving up, here I have my, 
Well, most of my 84 and 85 figures, but right at the front here, we, we have Outback, Swerve, and Tailgate. I put them here because they were retools of the some of the 84 mini vehicles. For example, Outback is supposed to be a retool of Brawn, Swerve is supposed to be Gears, and Tailgate is Wind Charger. Moving along here, we have Thrust. And the Insecticons kick back and bombshell. Sadly, I don't have shrapnel right now. But uh, yeah, here I have the Autobot cars Sunstreaker and Mirage. These two are uh, KOs, pretty much. Prowl, Skids, Red Alert, and Inferno. And, and these are the commemorative reissues. And that's pretty much it for this shelf. Moving up, here I have some. Well, 86 onwards figures. Right aside, the side, here we have Ronimus Prime, complete with his battle station. Here I have the Power Master Double Dealer in his Autobot mode with, with Knock. I do also have Scar, who's pretty much just stored somewhere else. Have you seen his review? Here I have the Stuntacons with me forming Menasaur. So here we have Drag Strip. And dead end as the arms, Motormaster as the torso, and Wild Rider and Breakdown as legs. And right here, I've got Galvatron. Next up, here we have Cup, the Generation 2 version of Silverbolt, and Cyclonus. Sadly, I do not have Scourge right now. But here we have some of the Micromasters. Here we have the Off-Road Patrol, Power Train, High Jump, Mudslinger and Tote, and the Race Car Patrol, Road Handler, Free Wheeler, Swindler, and Tailspin. And my voice is cracked. But here I have, well, these are two the Robots in the Sky Spy Changers, Ironhide and Mirage. Why do I have them on my G1 shelves if they're, if they're Robots in the Sky figures? These two are recolors of Generation 2 GoBot molds. Not these GoBots, but the Generation 2 GoBots. So that's why I have them there. Yes, it doesn't matter if it's a Robots in the Skies figure. If it's a recolor of a Generation 1 or a Generation 2 figure, I'll put it here. So if I ever get Ruination, I'll put them on, on these shelves. Going up. Here I have Generation 2 Megatron and a figure I haven't reviewed yet as of the time of this recording, Laser Optimus Prime. Sadly, he is missing his stickers and he doesn't have his laser rod and his electronics actually don't work so the lighting feature sadly does not work. Although, I'm, I'm really happy I've got this figure, it's a really, really good figure. And I, this will be my next review soon, so stay tuned for that. And I also have his trailer. It's still his trailer mode because, well, if I, if I have it in its base mode, it's too wide to fit in here. So, yeah, there's that. But you, I, I will show his base mode when I review Laser Optimus Prime. Now, finally, the very top, the only figure I have in here right now is the Gobot Combiner Courageous. Although, I do have some tech specs, and I do have some boxes. So, showing the boxes first. Here I have the boxes for Prowl, Skids, Inferno, and Red Alert. Of course, they're the commemorative reissues. Also, excuse the light. Yeah, I've got my light on just because just it gets really dark in here at times. Here I have the box with the KO Sunstreaker. A little card thing for Psykill. And if I move Courageous out of the way, here we have the box for Courageous. And here I have the tech specs for Mirage. Kickback. The Afro Patrol and even La and even Laser Optimus Prime, which I'll, I will show in his review soon. 
But that pretty much does it for my G1 shelves. So now we'll move on to the main attraction. Okay, this is the main attraction. Here we have my Beast Wars and R.I.D. figures. My Armada figures, if my phone will stop shaking. Sorry, there's my hands a bit. My Armada figures, my Energon figures, and my Cybertron figures. If my phone will stop glitching around, because of course it is. And down here I have my Movieverse figures. But going from top to bottom, here we have my Beast Wars figures and my Robots in the Skies figures. So right here, you can see Optimus Primal, along with Bone Crusher. Here we have Magnaboss, and this is one figure I'll probably never review. One reason being because one of the components, Silver Bolt, has Gold Plastic Syndrome, so he, he, it might break when I'm recording. But here we have Magnaboss, which consists of Silver Bolt, Prowl, and Ironhide. Speaking of Prowl, I've got another Prowl here. Then here we have Robots in the Skies Ultra Magnus and Prowl. Next, the big wave of, of Empty Nothing. I really do hope to get more Predacons so I can fill the, the, the shelf. But here we can see the Predacons Megatron and Waspinator. Now moving down a, a, a shelf, here we have my Armada figures. And I have reviewed all of these, so you should definitely remember these. Right here in the background, I have Smokescreen, sadly without his Minicon. <sighs> Sorry, that's my echo going off. Uh, apologies, I'm always interrupted. That thing has a mind of its own. But as I was saying, we have Scavenger. And if I can find his Minicon... Well, I do have Roll Bar, although he's not showing. Here I have Power Link Red Alert with Long Arm. And here I have Laser Beak. And in front, here I have Blur with Incinerator. Optus Prime with Overrun. The Notorious Sideswipe with Night Beat. Hoist with Refute. Sideways, sadly about his, his mini cons. Galvatron with Clench. Cyclonus with Crumple Zone. Huge gap there because I recently purchased Demolisher, so expect a review on him soon since so he hasn't arrived yet. Skywarp, sadly about his mini con. Deny Attack mini con team. Scatter, Broadside, and Fetch. And behind Skywarp, I have Frost of Inferno. I put Frost here because he kept on falling over and just breaking into pieces when he was over here. So I just moved him to behind Skywarp. Also to make room for Demolisher. But moving down here I have my my Transformers Ener uh, I cannot even speak. My Energon figures. So here we have Ironhide. Landmine. Towline. The smaller version of Megatron, Shock Blast, Constructicon Maximus with Steam Hammer, Wide Load, Bow Crusher, Slight and Dust Storm, and Red Wing. And at the front, I have Hot Shot, Inferno, Power Link Optimus Prime, the Omnicon's Strong Arm and Signal Flare, Ronimus, Prowl. Oh well, the Swap Prowl Recolor, Downshift, Stormjet, sadly about the other Aerial Bot components, Demolisher, the Dump Truck version, and Starscream. Also, down here, I have Omega Supreme. He's down there because, of, come on, he, he'd be too big to fit on this shelf. So I just put Omega Supreme down here. Next up, we have my Cybertron figures. Optimus Prime, who was my last review of 2020. 
Evac, Quick Mix, Universe Blaster with Block Rock. Oh, I forgot hit. I do have Strip Mine, who's Quick Mix's mini con. 2007 movie Blaster and Sky Shadow, along with Landmine, Excellion, Skids, which is actually the Japanese version of Clocker, Lugnuts, Swindle, Ransack GTS, Thundercracker, and Dirt Boss. And down here I have Starscream, who was actually my first review when I started. Uh, I'll, I'll say that again, I can just not speak today. Starscream was the first Transformer I reviewed when I got back to reviewing figures. If you remember that. But next up we have my Movieverse figures. So for the big figures, I've got 2007 Leader Optimus Prime, one of my favorite figures. Rescue Ratchet, which is just Movie Ratchet in a G1 color scheme. Thundercracker, the notorious Revenge of the Fallen Demolisher, and I actually have managed to get him to stand. Here I have Deluxe Jazz, Camshaft, Power Core Combiner's Ice Pick. I like to consider the Power Core Combiner's lads as, mov as movie verse figures. Here I have Barricade and Frenzy. And Bone Crusher. And down here, I keep some of the boxes. Right there, you can see the box for Ransack. Along with Steam Hammer's box. The Megatron Optimus Prime 2 pack box with the Omega Supreme ad. And Red Wings box with the ad for Strong Armed, Slug Slinger, Shardicon, and Doomlock. I do hope to get some of these figures soon. Maybe not Slug Slinger, but yeah. I have shown these boxes in their respective reviews, so if you want to see the boxes, just check out those reviews. Here I have a spare parts box where I use, well, where I put like parts I'm not using in display or broken off pieces. The gun and missiles for R.I.D. Ultra Magnus, and tons of instruction booklets. I'm not, I'm not going to show them all because eh, there's just too many. But that does it for this part of the video. Next up, we have my more modern figures. So, like, R.I.D. 2015, Shug, Prime, etc. Starting off, here I have one of the many figures of R.I.D. Optimus Prime, the 2015 version. The box for Dreadwind, who we'll see soon, and the box for Astro Train. Combiner Wars, Hotspot and Scattershot, Titans Return Astro Train, and R.I.D. Soundwave. And here I have two little figurines of Hot, of Hot Rod and Cheetor. These came with, like, well, they were magazines that were based on Transformers Cyberverse. The only reason I got those magazines were, was because I really like these little figurines. But moving along... Here we have Combiner Wars Ironhide, Titans Return Brawn, Titans Return Top Spin and his Headmaster Freeze Out or Titan Master, Blur and Hyperfire, Sky Tread, Power of the Prime's Dreadwind, Prime Rumble and my hand shaking, Cybervest Megatron, one of the well, one of the Cybervest Megatron figures. And the Creon's Nightbeat, Scrapnel, and Fangwolf. Now you may think that's it, but I do have something else to show. Here I have a few Transformers posters. So here we have a movie vs. Bumblebee poster, probably from Dark of the Moon, from I, I can remember. A few Cyberverse posters, for example, Hot Rod, Bumblebee, Prime. Windblade and Cheetor, and up here we have some of the Cyberverse Autobots and Decepticons, and although this is unrelated, I do have a Spongebob poster. Pretty much most of the characters from the show, but... Here we can see Prime, Rack and Ruin, Grimlock, 
I can't remember that guy's name. I think it was like Alpha Bite or something. Blur, Wimblade, Ratchet, Hot Rod, RC, Wheeljack, Chromia, Whirl, Prowl, and I think that's Meteor Fire and Bumblebee. And with the Decepticons, we've got Megatron, Shockwave, Shadow Striker, Acid Storm, Clobber, Thundercracker, Bludgeon, Slipstream, Dead End, and Soundwave. And just below that, we have my favorite poster. One of the Transformers Cybertron planet maps. This one's the, the giant planet one. But the figures advertised on here are Primus, Metroplex and Drillbit, Starscream, who we saw earlier, Prime, who we saw earlier, Megatron, Sky Shadow, who we saw earlier, Menasaur and Heavy Load, Skywarp, Unicron, Override GTS, Quick Mix and Strip Mine, who we saw earlier, Nemesis Breaker, Excelion, who we saw earlier, Long Arm, Overcast, Deep Dive, Short Round, Scrap Metal, Luck Nuts, who we saw earlier, and Soundwave. And that's pretty much it for my collection. So yeah, that's pretty much my entire Transformers collection as of December 2020. If my hand will stop shaking. But as you can see, it has improved quite a, a bit since my last collection video. And I am excited to see what Transformers figures I'll get this year. But we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. This has been my Transformers collection video of, two, of December 2020. And this is Charlie Young. Signing off.